Everyone, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. I'm going to be showing you why you should plus 1 or plus 5 your gear. I'm going to give you guys results. I'm going to show you how much you're spending, what the results of how many blue waking stones you get, and also what part in the game where you should consider one over the other. Everything in this video is definitely going to help you, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so a couple things before we get into, there's a salvage event going on right now, so if you guys are looking at this later on and being like, how come I'm not getting as much stuff as you're getting, that's currently because we get this salvage event every so often that has a higher chance I get super and ultra success rate. So if I do salvage all this gear, there's a bigger chance of me getting these blue awakening stones of higher rarity. So this is a big event, you should usually be saving all your SSR gear like I did uh, for this, and you should be saving all your gold so you can do gear gotcha, so you can do the salvage event to get all the blue awakening stones that you need. So just a little note there, if you guys are looking at this in the future, it is a salvage event, so the rates I get right now are going to be way different than you get later on. So that's one thing just to take note of. Alright, so experiment number one is going to be just plus one-ing. So just plus one gear am I going to salvage right now? So we're going to do the first row. All of, everything over here is just plus one SSR. Uh, except for that one piece right there, it's a plus two, so we're going to click on this. So everything here is plus one. My advice to you guys is that no matter what's going on, plus one is your minimum when it comes to SSR rarity. Do not do anything less than that, which means you didn't put any plus one. And when it comes to SR gear, plus one is totally fine. That's the gold pieces. Plus one and nothing else. You don't should never plus five SR gear or below. You just salvage it. So I'm gonna do first off here plus one salvage. It's gonna be round one test. I'm gonna do two tests at most, maybe three, but it's not gonna be the biggest of a test, but at least it's something just to give you guys an idea. So everything's plus one here. I'm gonna salvage this and see what happens. So 12 pieces at plus one. Our first round's gonna give us come on, come on. 14 pieces. Alright, so we got 14 pieces of the four star. Alright, so round two, everything's plus one, all at plus one SSR, let's see what we get for this one. So it's my second round at plus one SSR during the salvage event. Whew, that's a nice one. Alright, so we got a total of eight four stars and two five stars for just plus one gear. So here's another test of the plus one and only, 12 pieces, all plus one, let's see what we get on our final one. Now again, it's not a huge amount of testing, but I already know the answer I like. Uh, but I'm still going to show you guys a little bit of result here. So plus one only gave us six four stars this time. Alright, so I'll tell you right now, plus five in gear sucks. It sucks so bad. So the one downfall about plus five in gear of how long it takes and how much gold it takes. And I'm going to come to that in just a second. <laughs> I'm just really exhausted from plus five and all that gear. Now, let's go do our first, uh, first 12 and see what we get. Alright, here we go. First 12, all plus five. Here's the proof. Da -da 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 <laughs> You can see that I've been waiting a long time for this gear to become plus five. First time, 18. We got 18 of the four star. So round two of the plus five in gear. Uh, I didn't keep it there, but you can pause the video if you want to see it was all plus five. Round two, 24 pieces. And the last round for round three of all plus five. This is the last one. So far, we got no five star awakening stones. Let's see if this one makes it any different. There we go, 24 pieces and two of the five stars. So I'm going to hold this up and show you guys. All right, so I know this this test is very small, 36 pieces of plus one-ing and 36 pieces of plus five-ing. Uh, I'm taking what I did here plus other people's videos that they've done where they plus one, plus five, looking at all the results and the math. It is better to plus five gear. In my case here, for all pieces, I ended up getting a total of 28 four stars and two five stars for the plus one -ing, where on the plus five I got 66 four stars and two five stars so in total when you look at it I've got 13 five stars for the plus five -ing, where for the plus four -ing, we only got a total of six so that's more than double just for plus five -ing. but that's not the end result the end result is not how many blue awakening stones you got it's also how much gold you spend because this next part's also very important Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this on the screen. If anything, I might change it to make it bigger. Uh, but right here, for plus one, it only takes 1,500 gold to make it plus one. So in total, doing all 36 of my pieces, it cost me 54,000 gold. Where, when I was plus fiving, it cost me 22,500 gold per piece. And altogether, 36 pieces, it cost me 810,000 gold. Now, if I were to do that 200 times for plus one, that would only cost me 300,000. But if I did that 200 times for plus 5 so 200 pieces, it would cost me 4,500,000 gold. And why is this so important? Is because gear gotcha is a thing, and blue waking stones 
are important, but there's two other items that are more important than blue awakening stones. So let's say we were supposed to do this 200 times. You had 200 pieces of SSR gear. You made it all plus five. You spent 4,500,000 doing that. What that equals is 21 of the gotcha pulls. So if you do plus one and you take away 300,000, let's say you didn't do plus one, you did plus five. So 4,500,000 take away 300,000 because that's ready in the total. So for 4,200,000 gold, you would do 21 gotcha pulls because each pull is cost 200,000. So out of 21 pulls, this is what you would missed out on. All right, so at the gear gotcha, I've set it to 21 pulls, which is 4,200,000 gold. If you were to do this, all the time eventually you'd hit 200 times doing this that would cost you this much so this is what you would miss out on i'm gonna auto salvage common uncommon and rare gear i'm gonna keep all my sr gear and ssr gear because i'm gonna plus one the sr i'm gonna plus one the ssr so i'm gonna hit apply and we're gonna do 21 pulls i'm gonna put on the result on the screen so you guys can see it so we're gonna skip the first here it goes if you guys didn't know you can push result up here and as it's doing its pulls, it's going to update. So it's going to show you how much it's salvaged down over here. This is salvage. This is all the gear that I'm getting. And this is how much gold I've spent so far. So, so far, we're at six pulls. Can you guys see any of that? Yeah, there we go. So you see seven pulls, eight pulls, how much I've salvaged, and what I'm getting so far. So out of 21 pulls, if you ended up doing uh, plus five in all your gear, this is what you would miss out on. And the biggest factor here, as in the draw system currently, there's anvils and there's hammers. I just did eight pulls on uh, my keys and I ended up getting three hammers off it. So it all depends on RNG and how many anvils you're going to get, how many hammers you're going to get. But the result is that you are going to get blue awakening stones. You're going to get more SSR gear that you can plus one and a bunch of gold gear you're going to plus one as well, which is going to equal more salvaging and more salvaging during the salvage event or any event. You guys are going to get a lot more. So the reason I said that I don't recommend. I haven't said that yet, but the reason I said this is so important, the gold part, it's not how many blue awakening stones you got, it's how much gold you're spending plus fiving. Gold and your actual real time, it takes forever to plus five. But anvils and hammers have more value than blue awakening stones in my opinion. Blue awakening stones, we can get them every time we do our dailies, uh, every time we just get a set of 12 gear, uh, every time it comes around, it's easy. Where anvils are limited to PvP farming pretty much and your guild boss, and that's about it. So for what I just did on this gear gotcha, I got a total of 18. I got two blue awakening stones and I got one hammer over here. And hammers have the biggest value in the game. You cannot farm this. This is only for certain events, uh, bingo cards, uh, the training caves. So hammers are the rarest thing in this game besides the material you need to UR your gear. So to me, I will not plus five gear because I don't value blue waking stones as much as I value gold because of this gear gotcha. So for 21 pulls that you guys didn't do, you missed out on 18 anvils and a hammer plus all this other gear here and you did get blue awakening and when i go salvage all this i'm gonna get more blue awakening stones plus the little ones from auto salvaging also add up so right there i can get a little bit more towards a big one so this is why i recommend that if you are new to the game and your priority right now is to get your ssr gear fully maxed out on your team then plus fiving some of your gear is not a bad idea but everybody, once you have like your main team, your four characters, left side, all SSR, I would take it slow from there because you need anvils to reroll your stats on the right side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to your characters and ha this is how you're supposed to be gearing your characters. So let's take someone that's on my team right now. Let me click on this to see who has my gear. Uh, a lot of people have my gear, but I think Arthur is holding my HP setup or just a setup in general. So the right side of your gear is usually gonna be rare or lower. If you're brand new to the game right now, do common gear, not rare gear, because that gold goes towards the gear gotcha. I did this in the first start in the game, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Now I would recommend just doing common. So on your left side, once you max out four characters, all plus five, five star, your right side is gonna be all common and that's totally fine. You cannot work on this gear. Even if you make this gear plus five, five star, you have to roll these stats. And the only way to roll these stats are with anvils and with hammers. And I have a whole guide on that when you should use the hammers versus when you should use the anvils. Uh, so anvils and hammers are way more important because even if you make this side all plus five, your rare or common gear is actually better than this set over here if it doesn't have the right percentage. So gear gotcha is more valuable than plus five in your gear, in my opinion. That's just my pin. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm only going to plus one my gear. I'm going to save all that gold to do the gear gotcha because the gear gotcha later on is also going to have where it has double or 
something like that. It's going to increase the rate drop of your hammers and the anvils and other stuff as well too. So the gear gotcha is going to have a rate up as well. So not only is this salvage event here for Blue Awakening Stones, later on gear gotcha is going to be having a little event. And every, uh, doesn't matter what point in the game you are, you can always just do gear gotcha whenever you want more hammers and you want more anvils. And you'll get a lot more resources along the way. So one last thing you guys might be asking yourselves is, well, what about UR gear? I need a lot more blue waking stones, so shouldn't I just focus on pawn up blue waking stones so I can make UR gear for everything? Because it's going to take six five stars to make yourself a fully awakened uh, six star version. So if you go to Blue King, this is where you upgrade your Awakening Stones. You need six of these to make one of these. And one of those is what allows you to make a UR gear. And UR gear is for every single character that you want to increase their entire set. So it's very, very expensive. The thing is, you need purple stones in order to do this. So you grab one of these pieces of gear here. And you grab the character that you want to do it for. And then it says, alright, I want ten of these purple stones and one of these big stones here. You're not going to get these stones as fast as you get these stones. You're going to get six five-star stones to make one of these right away, where this is going to take you a lot longer. So don't worry, over time you will have more blue awakening stones versus how many of these stones you get to make a UR piece. So yes, it is better to plus five. That is a reason to get more of those awakening stones. So it all depends where you are in the game. But in the end result, you still got to roll the stats on that gear. So if you don't have enough anvils and you don't have enough hammers, then that gear is going to be very weak compared to someone who has a bunch of anvils or a bunch of RNG. So that is something to also consider. A lot of you guys might think to yourself, well, I need a lot of blue awakening stones because every character needs their own set. Not just my set of four, not just my association. So you do need eight characters in total fully geared SSR. But eventually you're going to be making the less gear for specific characters. And that UR gear can always be switched back and forth. They just won't get the set bonus unless they're the certain character. So I still stand by plus one-ing SSR gear versus plus five-ing when it comes to thinking about UR gear as well. So my recommendation to you guys, if you are doing this, don't plus five your gear. If you don't need the blue awakening stones, I clearly have a full team ready to go blue awakening stones. I mean not blue awakening stones, SSR gear, not entirely full but comfortably like my jericho over here is sitting on plus five five star gear ssr uh then so is my helper over here that's just the character that's holding my gear but then when you look at like gother gother doesn't have the neck break uh the earrings done arthur doesn't have the earrings done uh down here you can see my associations don't have their gear fully done as long as your main four your first four characters all have the left side with plus five five star, you're totally fine. Take it easy from there. Save the gold for anvils and hammers because that's going to be way more important. Because to work on your right side gear and working for gear sets that want pierce rate or all attack or critical, you know what I mean? Or resistance, you know, a full defense go through with resistance is very, very toxic. Stuff like that. So this is my recommendation. I just want to show you a little bit of the testing in the beginning. Uh, yes, you do get more blue awakening stones with plus fiving. But in the cost of spending a lot more gold over time. Because if you always, always do that, you're looking at more than 21 pulls. You're looking at that pulls constantly being drained. Every 200,000 you spend on plus 5 in gear is one less pull you could have done towards an anvil and a hammer. So that's my advice. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling. And I'll smell you later.